so the details are murky to me. But if I recall correctly, town... I always get it mixed up because it's the exact opposite of how it was in Smash 4. Yes, it has a higher ceiling if that's what you were going to... Yes, higher ceiling and the ledges are closer. Is that correct? I believe so, yes. Like you die off the side a little bit more easier. I think it's it's like the layout is very good for Rob, but those blast zones are probably going to be helping out Palu more. Mm -hmm. Although they do also help out Rob because Rob gets juggled by Palu up air super duper easily. Yeah. And it might well, not only that, if we see it, uh, Rob's side special is always on the table. And that's oh, a that is really, true. really would, scary would, option, would, even if you never see it. I mean, Dill isn't necessarily the kind of player who like fishes for those crazy offstage, uh, you know, gyro into side beat combos, but when when the opportunity presents itself, they will absolutely take a chance to end a stock super early with Roto. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we'll see it coming right now. Uh, Dill making good use of the platforms to get back down. That is one of the things, um, is landing from on high directly onto Palutena because Rob's airspeed is nice. It's not fantastic, and Palu is quite fast. Ooh. Nope, this is fine. <laughs> I, I, you can't honestly say that you thought it was going to be <laughs> fine from start to finish there. It, it was definitely a little dicey, but we're back on solid ground. All yeah. right. Conversion from Dill. Nice. Wow. The toss on the jump. I think Dill stuck out a forward air there. I, and yeah, that's I why saw that, that forward hit. air too. But yeah. forward air is going to lose to Palu back air. That move, it's you are bashing him with a literal oh, yeah. shield. So Punches him. Good oh. shield wiper. Get him out of the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, read on the low. Okay. At this point, Dill looking to probably get a, something started here. Only 76% on Utopian Ray on a stage with a bigger blast zone. Was that a footstool to get out of that nair combo? I, Did I see that right? I... I didn't hear the little uh, the audio cue, but I, I didn't could be either. wrong. It might have just been a jump out of the combo, and it was in a specific spacing that looked like a footstool. But either way, going yeah. for the down air to make a little bit more distance in this stock lead. Oh, man, this is one of the hard parts about the matchup, is that you can take it slow, you can be careful, but then once you get nared one time, you take a huge amount of damage, get put off stage, get put in the blender. Look at this, still mm -hmm. continuing. And even if um, Ray doesn't end up killing, which it's looking really scary because Dill's got to land, um, still in it. Um, this is still a lot of damage to take while you're already a stock down. Oh, absolutely. All right. and, and Dill hasn't even found a way to end this stock at the moment. Up tilt sending him way too far. Nice. Catch on the gyro. What's the mix up to, return, uh, to recover going to be? Just at this point, just going straight for it. Okay, that uh, should that be it. That should be it. Yeah. Yep. Go for the up air. Gonna absolutely take Would it. Would have had to see some inhuman mashing on that one, I believe. All right. Nice. That was a good cover right there. So the slow airspeed is still a problem, but by air dodging into the gyro, it's a little bit harder for uh, Ray to find the punish on that. And at this point, yep, just looking to find that finishing blow. Utopian Ray finds it with the up air, and okay, oh. Do you see that? That is exactly the kind of situation you have to think about it at all times, and even if it doesn't happen, it's scary as hell. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, because for some reason you have never seen it, that's the sort of situation that can degrade quickly into an offstage Roto Arm combo, killing <laughs> Utopian Ray at 50, or less even. Maybe. All right, out vertical. I do like the idea. Dill is there with the laser, and that's a trade in their favor. Oh, and, and there it is, that combos. single neutral air to start the combo. Mm -hmm. And at this point, Utopian Ray doesn't feel scared at all. And when, like, zoners in general, you know, they want their opponents to be shaken in their boots. Mm -hmm. And if it feels like Utopian Ray just dancing around, dodging these attacks, and still managing to find his own. Oh, but right nice. there, beautiful spacing. Yes. All right. Another grab. Let's see. All right. Gonna be put on the ledge once so more. Tense every time. Okay, good mash though. Getting because at this point, if Ray is knocked out and it's down to last stock, this is a deficit that Dill can definitely make. Oh, absolutely. This is, but every single time he loses neutral once, it, it becomes uh, that. Look at the way the lead has extended. All of a sudden, it was 50 there it seconds is! ago. Now it's dead. <sighs> that Rob Air movement speed, man. You could see every time Dill was up in the air, and Ray obviously threw up specifically to try to bait for it. Um, it's just a problem. Look at it. What's Rob going to do? 
Rob can't move that fast. He yeah, was in lag from the forward air. Oh. That was, I can't believe, he was you in a magnifying so? glass. How did Utopian Ray even see that? I think that was just putting the presence out there, but even still. Ooh. He might not have been in lag anymore. Actually. Maybe. That's pretty tight. It's hard to say. Yeah, I'm not sure what the, because also it's one of those things where mm -hmm. it might be, I, I'm actually unsure. It might be one of those animations. It comes out very quickly, but it might last for a while. Well, another thing is that even if that animation was over, uh, that's a difficult situation to get out of. The basically only option that I can think of there is air dodge through. Um, air dodging to the side would have been maybe too slow. Um, if Dill had started fast falling, that might have been an available option, but that just basically Down puts there you to the stall at the perfect time. Maybe. But that's like perfect time. You know, you know, hard to say. But Especially because high. you 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 want to generally spend less time in the air above Palutena. But that is true. But like once she double jumps to get up there, she it's gonna take a while for her to double up, double jump up to get up there again. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. da down airing when you're very like close to above the stage, that's probably a really bad idea. But when you're all the way up there, I mean, I am not a Rob player, so I am not going to. Oh, Ooh. speaking of down air, I'm sorry. <laughs> we needed to be addressing what was happening on screen, which was a zero to death. I was personally wondering what adjustments needed to be made on Dill's part, and apparently that's it. Just fixing the problem of the advantage state. See, the problem is that you had to put on break the targets. <laughs> Why yeah. did you let... He's <laughs> turned you into his... Target. Yes, he broke the target. Zero to death. All right. Nice parry. Oh, uh, they... Yeah. Gee, her. Gotcha. So. Yep. And you see, there have been a couple parries now in this game as well, where Dill is spaced out, and she... Oh, that's a... That's a good punish on the air dodge. Uh, Dill has been spaced out, so even when she throws out an aerial on uh, Utopian Ray's parry, it's still safe because the distance is too far away. No. Oh, fell out! Oh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at Looks all. Looks like the jump was taken. I'm still upset. I'm still a little bit upset by that. I mean, it was sick. But now this is a rough spot for Ray to be in. Palutena can definitely put on the damage, but it is a little bit hard to get a kill. This is a good start, though. Nice chases for damage. And it is going to be a little bit harder for Dill to get back down to the ground with the platforms in the way that Palutena can shark a little bit. I like this. Slow play, taking their time. Ooh! That was so cool. And oh, what I, a coverage. I, I know. That was something where... <laughs> let's not forget that Ray plays characters that have items. He knows how to do item control. And as we saw right there, placing down the gyro at the exact roll distance, charging the smash attack, it limited Dill's options so much. There was mm -hmm. almost nothing. I mean, there were options, but there was not much she could do right there. Yep, it's a hard place to be, especially because Rob is big. It's kind of hard to get out of the way sometimes. Oh, yes, here we go. All right, Ooh, right above, dangerous place to be. Landing with the Nera like that, having the hitbox on the way down, fast falls it. This is once again Utopian Ray in the, have the the corner pressure has really been leveled up since the beginning of this game. It feels like, oh, but that's it. Beautiful two frame, and we have one one between them. I'd say that the difference maker in that game mm -hmm. was that Dill fixed her advantage state. Where it it felt like game one gets a single hit, you know, maybe like in a little more love taps here. Oh, you know, here, sure, take, in, take a neutral air, take a forward air. Game mm. two, though, hits, hits you once and then just dead off stage. Mm -hmm. And I do think there were a couple of key moments where that came into play there. The uh, two now down airs are definitely big players in that one. And that is a weakness. It's tough, especially at a lower level, to take advantage of uh, two frames on teleports, but it is a weakness nonetheless. Um, and when you limit someone's recovering options, especially with someone like Rob, who has ways to threaten the high recovery, you know, you have arm rotor, you have these separate projectiles, and you don't want to eat a laser for 20%, and you don't get back to the stage. It's an awful place to be. So, that I was love the coverage, coverage on that. Yeah. yeah. I think that perhaps Dill was hoping to actually air dodge to the ledge and overshot. Mm -hmm. And just look at the anticipation. Mm -hmm. I don't think that was on reaction. If we can actually get a replay of that last stock right there, um... Yeah, throws the gyro down. It's yeah. I think that was. I just see exactly knew what, what was you're gonna saying. happen. Yeah, like I don't. I it was so instant. I don't think that could have. I think that might have like, been. Visual. I don't. 
I don't know that that was a total checkmate scenario, but um, with gyro in place, run off and doing arm rotor, uh, if you jump get up, you are hit, and you combo into arm rotor. If you drop down to avoid the gyro, arm rotor is still there anyway. Um, maybe an option into immediate air dodge, but if it was tight enough, I can see how that would be uh, very difficult. I think roll would probably be the only clean answer. Um, I mean, technically, if you went for an a ledge attack, you would have maybe dodged the roto arm part, but like, mm -mm, <laughs> don't want to be like, oh, consolation prize. Mm -hmm. I'm off stage now against Rob, but I'm not dead. Yep, um, and we're actually going to go back to Battlefield on this one, too. I find that, I mean, considering how that last game went, I think it's a bit of a statement on Ray's part uh, mm -hmm. of, okay, yeah, y y y you got me. You know, mm -hmm. you killed me with like two down airs, uh, but that's not going to happen again. And I can use this stage to my advantage. Absolutely. And now we're going to see if that statement was just a big old bag of lies or not. <laughs> As, we'll find out. Good yeah. case on the tech. Dill hasn't, Dill didn't get a explosive start like she did last time, but doesn't seem to matter that much. Mm -hmm. The percents are pretty even here. Yep. That's spot dodge in the grab. Happens so often, but every time I see it, I clench just a little. All right. <gasps> that pressure from across the stage, somehow mm -hmm. still covering ledge. Yep. Beautiful stuff on Dill's part, and there's the ledge attack. Nice oh, pick. Hey, very good anticipating the movement on the back air as well. That's a tricky thing yet to have to uh, keep in mind. Question, does ledge attack always knock gyro away? Because I think it did just there. Uh, but yes, I don't see why it wouldn't. If there's an exception, I'm not aware of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's two things. There's two things about the gyro. If the gyro is being launched from 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 the B move, it'll tank one hit, and so if you get up attack it, it'll hit it, but then it'll bite back. And if it got regular toss, then uh, you can just like knock it away. Oh, I see. So it can take uh, one attack from just anything and still power through on its yeah. trajectory. That's crazy. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, it, it's got it's got a bite uh, when it's like launched from the B button. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs> and so Devin returns to the void. Uh, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> the void. Uh, All right, so we're seeing a little bit of spacing out. Patient play here. Both players at low percent. This is a bit scary, I would say, for Dill because Palatina has a lot of that early percent combo damage. But just able to escape beyond the reach of the goddess here. And now Dill back down on the ground. This might be her chance to get something started, but the pressure that Utopian Ray is exerting, not giving her the chance to get any of those projectiles or charge up the, ro uh, the, the gyro in a meaningful way. And look at this, trapped in the corner, reading Dang. the rolls. Hit behind Rob Thick. Yeah, and you can see that um, Dill, she's playing a little bit on the side here because Palutena, even though this percent is a little bit higher now and you're not gonna see as much convergence, her neutral is still pretty tight. And it's especially difficult when you try to approach from a little bit of a vertical angle. You've suddenly got these platforms in the way, and Palatina is sharking. We saw that early on in this stock. And now we might see a chase from Dill. Yeah, but now they're both actually deep in the red here, but totally even in percent. You know, Rob being heavier might survive a hit a little bit more reliably than Ray, but at the same time, <gasps> oh, they're still trading back and forth. Next hit here might actually mean the stock and mm -hmm. getting a lead. Like, if Doom manages to get a lead right here, oh. that's going to be massive. <gasps> Definitely looking what forward. a patient move. It's just slapped him away. The forward tilt actually killing. That is not <laughs> something you see too often. Oh but my God. I think maybe DI'd away for that. But regardless, such a smart, good. Just an option from Dill right there. Let's see if he can actually Did you see that? With the lead. Did you see that? Utopian Ray moved over to threaten with the back throw at the ledge and then chase the option that was meant to prevent that. Very smart play from Ray. Yeah, that's something about Ray is he's so good at paying attention and adapting in neutral. Like, if you have a habit that can be exploited, by the end of the set, it's going to be exploited by mm -hmm. Ray. Absolutely. Ooh. And now we're back in another chase situation. Looks like Dill's opting to reset at the ledge. Smart call. Tax on a little bit of percent. And now actually at the ledge themselves, returning back to neutral. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just <laughs> flashing their shields at each other. What? No, what are you oh, doing? How did that happen? No. What? Sometimes that happens. Sometimes what? it be like that. Uh, Sometimes it be like that. Are we back in Wi-Fi? What just happened? No, 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 no. Sometimes uh, things get tense. I, I, what I recall is... Look at how intimidating Ray. this is! 
Utopian Raid delayed it. I guess that, mm -hmm. you know, maybe... De but Dill could have just hovered above it. There was no need to go into the zone of it and challenge it. It might have potentially been an attempt to go for a punish. Plus, that is a high-tension situation. Yeah, and of course. Whatever it might have been, a read that didn't work out, a mistake, it happens. And yeah. let's be honest, if somebody walks directly to the edge of the ledge and just charges forward smash, there is a certain level of abandon in a movement like that. Even if it's a smart call, it's scary. I That's mean, intimidating. It worked, so it was optimal. Mm -hmm. That's what I always That's say.